Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in this school, the one called the Ultimate Despair. Watch out for her. Hello humans and cephalopods, my name is Scood and welcome back to Danganronpa. How's everyone doing tonight? I'm super stoked to be playing tonight because holy shit. More twists. Dead body, class trial, Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student, one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Jesus Christ, this music. Ugh, I'm so ready for this. I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The un unidentified body, could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice. I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself. No matter what, I have to find out what happened. Or we're all dead. I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. This fucking music is bumping. Hey, yo. Welcome in, musicality. I'm doing pretty good. I am, uh, I got home from work. Work was, like, I was very hyper all day. And, um, I have a lot of energy today. <laughs> okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important, from one end to the other. I just need to do what I always do. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Here we go. Start with the hand. Welcome in, Emmy. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, these are fake nails. They're really long. They seem like they'd get in the way of normal activity. Fake nails. Uh, what about the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. A tattoo. It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but... It looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. I've never seen anything like it before. Tattoo on the right hand. Uh, the white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burnt up. There's only one little piece left. Okay, the burnt part and the torn part. Welcome in, Kate. Good to see you. The upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body is wet. That makes sense. That's because I got set on fire and I threw water on it. Since I only threw water on the part that was on fire, the top half, the bottom half is still dry. Welcome in, Roxy. Good to see you. In other words, there's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Hmm. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket of water on it, which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? Can't look around. That's it for the body. We'll look around the room as well. Who is the victim? We don't know yet. That's what we're trying to figure out. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this... It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded. The force of the explosion must have thrown it over here. The Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body, from front to back. Does that mean the knife is what caused the fatal injury? Either way, this knife... It looks really familiar. Wait, is this... <gasps> That's it! It's the knife the person was holding. This is getting really weird. There are just too many strange coincidences. I remember this scene. They just showed it like two seconds ago. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. Cut back to them in the bed again. And the same knife was used to stab that same masked attacker we found here. Come on, one more time. Maybe this masked person got stabbed because... Oh my god, I did it again! Oh my god, that's fucking funny. When they attacked, I was in a kind of a trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife, and maybe then I... I... Okay, show it one more time. 
And if this really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. But why the mask? I just don't know. I don't remember anything clearly from last night. No, 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 it can't be. There's no way. Well, no, because we saw Kyoko right after the masked person. I have not played Detroit Become Human. That's one that I want to stream at some point. Uh, fragments of something. I can't quite make it out either. They're all burnt, so I can't really be sure, but... Oh, is it the bomb? I feel like I've seen something like it before, but where? Wait, was it there? I'll have to double-check that later. We'll have to check the, um... The gym. Every time I did... Well, I do have water, so I can stay hydrated. Choices matter in Detroit Become Human, yeah. It has a very branching storyline, depending on what you do. Which is pretty cool. Listen, Makoto, do you remember how the body looked, you know, before it blew up? Um, if I remember right... It was wearing some kind of mask and a big white coat. Also, there was a knife sticking out of the stomach, and the area around it was stained with blood. Apparently, the wound had stopped bleeding, but the blood on the body was still wet. Byakuya said not to touch it to avoid getting all bloody. But for how much blood there was on the body, I didn't see any on the ground around it. Okay. Wow, thanks. That was a big help. Now that you explained it, I totally remember how it looked. Well, having to talk about it like that helped me remember it a lot better, too. So thank you, too. Body before the explosion. Yeah, the flowchart, super cool. So who does that body belong to? Whoever it is, I'm not gonna look. I don't want to faint anymore. How about the chicken coop? I remember there were some chickens in the chicken coop. I count four chickens. What? Four? Yo. What's going on, Makoto? Oh, I'm glad you're here. Listen, do you remember how many chickens there were in here? Hmm. Of course, there were precisely five. Uh, you both love and hate stuff like that? Kind of like when the story in Skyrim wanted you to kill Parthenax? Well, that's not really a choices matter thing. That's a, you do what you, what they say for you to do in order to proceed the story. This is a little different. It's like, you do this, or you do this, or you do this. And then depending on what you do, it'll just do different stuff going forward. I like that. But if it forces you into a route, if the game gives you a, like a, a sense of freedom, it kind of bothers me. That's kind of actually what I like about Dark Souls. Depending on how you interact with certain NPCs, whether you do their quest line or not, you never have to kill Dragon. <laughs> That's fair. Huh? huh? What's wrong? There's only four chickens here now. We're one short. Huh? <laughs> That's so weird. I wonder when it disappeared. But I was down here just before nighttime last night, and... There were definitely five chickens then. What? What are we gonna do? Going from five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. Conspiracy! It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even a single piece disappears, the entire world will remain unfinished. I like that there's hints of the other investigation theme mixed with this one. That's nice. That's a nice touch. I mean, it's basically just a like a cover of the other song, honestly. I did my best to ignore Hero and focus on the problem at hand. Why did one of the chickens disappear? Could it be related to the case? Chicken Coop Chickens. <sighs> I talked to Toko. What about the plant? How you doing, buddy? Monokuma flower, huh? Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? I don't think it's related to the case, so I think I'll just stay away. Uh, body... the tool shed. Ah, yes, let's check the tool shed. See if anything's missing. Uh, looks pretty... That's different, yep. Is this a tarp? Wait, was there a tarp in here before? I should probably look into that. It could be related to the case. Well, let's look into the tarp. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime. But the underside... 
it's totally clean and completely dry. One side of the tarp is wet and dirty. Something about that bothers me. That's the one thing in here that concerns me. There's a lawnmower. Doesn't have anything to do with the case. Flower pots have nothing to do with the case. Something carved in the handle of the pickaxe. Crazy diamond. Connected to Mondo, but now's not the time to worry about it. I hope there aren't any clues hidden in the fertilizer. That's funny. Tools have nothing to do. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. I figured it was just a tarp because he said it was just a tarp, but you always got to make sure. Hmm. It's 11 o'clock right now. Okay, and? Oh, well, I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, huh? I should look back at what I did this morning to help me remember when that was. Monokuma's announcement woke me up at 7 o'clock as usual, and I headed for the dining hall pretty soon. Once I got there, I met up with Hina. That was right around 7.30. Then I headed to the gym, where everyone else was waiting. Next, Toko went to go get the pickaxe, and that's when she found the body. What time was it then? Hmm. Just past 8. Now then, Toko, what time is it? Oh, just past 9, that's what it was. Oh, well, when we left the gym, it, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the dot now. That's right, it had to have been right around 9 o'clock. You know? Oh, now that you mention it, I think you're right. Hmm. So, I think we could say for sure that the body was found at 9 a.m. Okay, my job's done. That's a pretty small job. When the body was found. Interesting little uh, thumbnail for that. Hmm. Good timing, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? So, in other words... I'd like to hear your alibi. N alibi? In other words... Correct. I'd love to hear where you were after nighttime began last night. Um, well, I was sick, so I was asleep all night. But why are you asking about that now, and what's nighttime got to do with it? Naturally. Isn't it obvious? This murder took place after nighttime. How can you know that for sure? Hmm. Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was going around looking for everyone so I could tell them about Monokuma. Hiro has been spending most of his time in the garden the last few days, so I figured he'd be here. And I can confirm that when I arrived last night, there was no body here. Nobody here. In other words. So the murder could only have taken place at some point during nighttime after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym together the entire night last night. What? Hm. Once I found Hiro in the garden, we immediately went to Toko and Hina's rooms to get them. At that point, we all went to the gym and began dismantling Monokuma. As a precaution, we made sure not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. In other words, all four of us have airtight alibis. The only, one who, the only ones who don't have alibis are me and Kyoko. That's right. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without an alibi. Hm. Also, when we went to get go get Hina and Toko, we stopped by your room as well. What? <clears throat> But you never came to the door, so where precisely were you? I'm telling the truth, I was in my room, but I was dead asleep. I had a fever, so... That's hardly an alibi. I know. <laughs> so, what now? You seem to be at quite the disadvantage here. I'm the only one without an alibi. That's... really bad, isn't it? That's fair, honestly. Um... I think that's it for this room. Nope. I've talked to both of them. Did I talk to Hero? Yes. That was about the time. I checked the shards, I checked that, checked the body. Ah, the controls. This over here. Panel controls the sprinklers. They're set to turn on at 7.30 every morning. And Monokuma said the time positively couldn't be changed. Huh? Hold on. So the sprinklers turn on at 7.30 each morning, right? Then if the body was here before then, the sprinklers should have gotten it wet. Which means that meant the murder must have taken place after 7.30. Mm-hmm. 
I think I've checked everything I need to in this area. Yeah, so that means the sprinklers went off while I was either in the dining room, dining hall or the gym. And then after that, the body was found. No, I didn't kill anyone. Makoto did. But I'm not done yet. There are other areas I need to check. Specifically that fragment I found before. There's somewhere I need to go in order to confirm my suspicions. And I still need to find out more about Kyoko. Uh, watching this is your one solace today. Have you not had a good day, musicality? Is that corpse really Kyoko? If that's true... Oh! We're back at it again. <laughs> They should follow this up with Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student. Uh, the one they- wait, what is it again? The 16th student lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. If I can't- if I can find out more about her, maybe I can answer that question. Kyoko was never the kind of person to talk about herself all that much. Maybe if I can get into her room, I'll be able to find out more. But the key to her room, Yakuya has it. All clear now. You had a stuffy nose and you woke up with your body and skin hurting. Ugh. I hope you feel better. Yeah, definitely relax. Drink a lot of water. Turn down the lights a little bit if you can. And just take it easy. I will simply limit your options further. Blah, 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 blah. Limit my options. Give me your key. I don't have a choice. I have to see if he'll let me borrow her room key. Hey, um, Byakuya? Hmm. If you do come up with an alibi, I'd be happy to hear it later. Or hear it. Later. At the class trial. Oh no, it's not about that. You have the key to Kyoko's room, right? I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm afraid I can't take that risk. You're the prime suspect, after all. What? Of course, if I were to go with you, that would be a different story. Then, will you go with me? Hmm. Sorry, I have my own agenda to take care of. Find me again later and we'll see. Goodbye. Depending on my mood, I may go with you. Or I may not. Come back later, huh? Okay, then in the meantime, I should look around somewhere else. Maybe I should check out that one area. The gym is what I'm guessing. I, I feel like the gym and also Makoto's room. Because if I go to Makoto's room, I might have the letter that Kyoko gave me. Kyoko playing hard to get. Maybe I'll go if, if I'm not too busy, I guess. Oh, what's it doing over here? Monokuma's laying dismantled on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. You know? I just found something. What is it? It's huh? it's what? Hmm. A bomb. There's a new oh, robot. Oh, a bomb? And that bomb went missing. There's no doubt about that. The fragments I found in that garden. Fragments of the dead body has been updated. Okay, I've checked everything else I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. I should head back to the garden and ask Byakuya. Man, that map makes it so easy to navigate this game. You think you can go soon, Byakuya? Let's go. You wanted to check out Kyoko's room, right? Very well. Let's go. Uh, wait for me! Byakuya walked off without a second glance, and I hurried after him on our way to the dorms. Uh, 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 I'm here. Hmm. Well then, here we go. Byakuya took out the key and slid it into the keyhole, and then... Hmm. And it's open. Looks like it. Thanks. Before we go, this is what I was thinking about before. This is the second floor of the dorms? I, know, I forgot all about that. They mentioned it yesterday in the stream. Kodaka knows about what who what is Sayaka guy? So this is Kyoko's room. What? You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Nothing in particular. I just thought we might find some kind of clue here. A clue that might help us understand Kyoko. Come on. You can't be serious. That's why you made me take time out of my search to come here? Sorry. Regardless, if you plan on poking around at random, you're doomed no matter how much time you take. Surely you have something more concrete. Something to give us some sort of direction here. More concrete. Oh, I know! Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. 
it's true. Yep, exactly what I thought. I'm sure I have it here somewhere. Found it! Hm. What's in the envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Hm. Well, something certainly has... Sorry, something has certainly happened. So open it. Uh, okay. I opened the envelope and looked inside. Inside was a single piece of paper. Under the sheets? What? That's all that was in there? Yeah, it looks like it. Under the sheets, what could it be? Well, I'm curious about this first. There's something on the table. It's a woodblock decoration. It kind of looks like a key at the bottom. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them for their lockers. Hmm. I wouldn't know. I've never gone to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Byakuya doing something like that. It's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think I might know what it unlocks. Really? What? Uh, the lockers in the archery club? Hmm. Area? Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure I have something- Yep, in the dojo that this might go to. Because there were six lockers there, I remember that. So we'll go back there later. But could something be hidden under the bed sheets? Part of me didn't expect to find anything, but as I lifted up the sheets... What's this? I found a crumpled up piece of paper. Oh, student registry. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16 student laying in wait, hiding in the uh, the school. Yeah, that one. I see. It appears to be Mukuro Ikusaba's profile. Yeah, it looks like it. Come on, say the line. Say the line. That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the headmaster's room along with the key. Oh, I thought they were gonna do it. <laughs> A key and blank. That's it. This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about. Kyoko said a death without meaning was unappealing. And this is what she left behind. Hm. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Hurry up and finish your search. Uh, okay. I made an effort to pull myself together and then looked down at the profile sheet. Name, Muk Mukuro Ikusaba, sex female, the ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Jap Japanese media outlets. Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden somewhere in the school? The one they call the ultimate despair? And you're saying to watch out for her? No, it's the ultimate the spare. You almost had it. An intense international inves investigation turned up no information, and she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped, that she'd received battle training of her own volition. <laughs> sex F. She failed at the sex class. <laughs> oh my god. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. Ooh, that's gonna be a truth bullet? How the fuck is Monokuma gonna react to that? The ultimate soldier, a mercenary group. This doesn't feel real. The world I grew up in, it's like a completely different dimension. It's like one's non-fiction and the other is sci-fi. There's no way to even compare the two. That's how different this is. That's That was how I saw things as just an ordinary person, but then... I see. I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. Huh? You recognize it? Naturally. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle-crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, and they always get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of, a, part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I'm intrigued. Every rumor I've heard that says that Fenrir had already... Found it. Whoa, I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player, and a bit player is becoming our hero. 
Ah, it's you. Hmm? What have you got in your pretty little hand there? Uh-oh, you found her profile? So what if we did? Don't freak out on me. I'm not going to hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either. Even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing, is there? But who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. Bears are omnivorous, you know. What? Are rule violations really so unforgivable? You're quite adamant about those regulations of yours. Hmm. Of course I am. A proper school life is built on dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, as the school headmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. Oh, so you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Of course! Absolutely! I can't have you complaining about how unfair it all is, now can I? Hmm. In fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's about the one writing all the rules. They're actually... One of the participants in this killing game. I don't think I ever actually told you how many participate sorry, participants there actually were, did I? Hmm. I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all first got together in the main hall way back when, there were 15 people there, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. A uh, misunderstanding? Are you saying... Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hit... In other words... That's right, there weren't actually 15 of you. Yes, indeed. The total number of students taking part in this killing game was actually 16. 16, then... Say it! Yes! Mukuro Ikusaba. Yes! The 16th student... There it is. ...lying hidden somewhere in the Oh, school. man. The one they call the ultimate despair. Yeah, what about her? What should we do, Kyoko? Watch out for her. Okay, oh, we'll do it. <laughs> oh, that made me, un like, unreasonably happy. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so happy. The 16th student, Mukuro Ikusaba. Wait, are you talking about the one they call the ultimate despair? She's part of this school life. So the one making all the regulations is... He's gonna punch Monokuma in the face. Why? <laughs> Why? Huh? huh? Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Oh, well, because... Like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know. Yes, indeed. Makes sense? Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, actually, I do have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? <laughs> I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kirigiri, so I'm going to share a little secret with you. Seriously? Are we going to learn what her, like, title was or something? Hey, um... Oh, no, we're going to learn about the gloves. No, poor girl. You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out, all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. So that just confirms that the body is not her. What? <laughs> okay, now that's all you get. <laughs> he gave us a really important clue there, actually. Kyoko wears those gloves to cover up a bunch of scars? Wait, so on the back of her hand... The tattoo. Wait, but no. Monokuma specifically said they were scars, right? And that's why Kyoko wears those gloves to hide the scars. Which means... Those fake nails on the corpse. Hm. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. His... Trap? Such ignorance. God must have really hated you to make you so dull. Hm. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. That's right. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules to the game. But why would he tell us that, and why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so there wouldn't be any complaints later. 
but the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuro is connected to this case. Rainy day here, been playing Elden Ring all day. That sounds great, Redbeard. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, not, it is currently raining. It wasn't raining earlier. It just started downpouring earlier. Um, I'm hyper. I'm having a good day. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Mukuro is related to the case? It's certainly possible. Perhaps she's the one who killed Kyoko. No, Kyoko is the one that killed her. Hmm. That would explain why we would have to, sorry, why we would have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the school killing game. Mukuro is the killer? She killed Kyoko? Hmm. Anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. I don't think Kyoko's the one that killed her, though. I don't know who killed her, but I don't think it was Kyoko. What? But based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Mukuro Ikusaba isn't the culprit. Huh? What makes you say that? Hmm. We thought Mukuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind's true identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Watch an episode of JoJo? Nice, nice. What part are you on? Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? No, Monokuma said he was the headmaster. No, oh, wait, no, he said that before either way. Never mind. That's a good point. So, in other words... Mukuro giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense, then, to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So that's the trap. They want us to suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. <laughs> that's what makes sense to me. The way you see it, it definitely does seem possible, but if that's really true, if Mukuro isn't the killer, then who is? <laughs> well, then, I believe our work here is finished. Let's move on. I'm sure there are other places in need of investigation. I should find out if that key and the dojo really are connected. Let's go. Well, are you coming? I'm, I'm on my way. You're only on part one? Are you still following the story of Jonathan? There's wooden lockers. They use wood, lo wood block keys, just as those super traditional public bathhouses. Looks like the key we found in Kyoko's room really does go into one of these lockers. I see. Makoto, do you see the locker farthest to the right? Very strange. That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. You understand what that means, right? I should probably use the key we found on that locker, right? That's right. Well, just try it. There's also a six on the key, and that's the sixth locker. Just put that out there. I took out the woodblock key and inserted it into the metal lock, and... The locker eagerly accepted the key, and it opened. Something on the bottom there. There are arrows in here. It looks like ten arrows in total. Hmm. They look like they're made of titanium, which means they're quite strong, despite how thin they are. Do you seriously just look at an arrow and go, Ah, that must be made of titanium. What? The big fight with Caesar? So you're in part two right now. Of course, without a bow, they're nothing but strong little sticks. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Strong sticks. Right here. Stabbed a single time, which went through the body. They've been struck in the head with an object as thick as a metal pipe. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a watered-up ball of duct tape. I wonder what this was used for. There's blood on it. If it is, that means it must surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case somehow? But how could it possibly be involved? Something with the tarp? Maybe? I think that's all the locker has to offer for now. Is something wrong? Very it's very odd, don't you think? The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Yakuya? Hmm. Forget it. Come on, we need to continue to the next location. What next location? What? There's still something we need to look into. We need to do more research on Fenrir. Uh, so we gotta go to the library, the archives. 
the mercenary group that Mukuro was a part of? How are we supposed to find out about that? Where in the school would you go to do research on something? Are you talking about the archive? That's right, the archive has all kinds of info that the general public doesn't have access to. Let's go. You like the guy, oh, uh, Zeppeli? I like Zeppeli. I like, uh, Speedwagon, but I think that's a pretty common sentiment in JoJo. Speedwagon is mwah, wonderful. I love him. We only have so much time before the trial begins. Let's hurry. Here we are. Hmm. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Byakuya seemed to know the archive like the back of his hand and went straight to a shelf in the back. Hmm. Ah, here we go. He quickly returned with a file in hand. I see. Take a look at this. Um, I have no idea what it says. What language is this? Oh, the tattoo. So Mukuro is the one that died. Hmm. How did you make it all the way to high school without learning a single word of French? I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't speak French. <laughs> well, whatever. I'll read it for you, but I expect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. Okay, I'll read you a hundred French texts? Isn't that kind of extreme? <laughs> Ooh, I love this shot of Byakuya right here. Look at him! Fenrir is an elite fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. So, if that is Mukuro that died, how the fuck did she get taken down by a, a knife? Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok, their mere presence is enough to strike fear into any enemy. They have been involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago, they completely ceased all activity. At present, their continuing existence cannot be confirmed. There are unconfirmed reports that the key members of the group were all neutralized. Rumors indicate that they were killed to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, however, believe there was mounting internal tension within the group, and they simply- oh shit, I- and they simply imploded. What? What is it? This all just sounds like some kind of alternate reality. Hmm. Well, it isn't. This is our reality. The only reality. These people are part of our world. Their battlefields aren't much different from our lives here. An unpredictable, unimaginable world. <laughs> That's what makes it all so exciting. Exciting definitely isn't the word I would use. So, did anything jump out at you? This may be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. Now that you mention it... The report said something about where the name Fenrir comes from, right? <laughs> That's right, it said Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Speaking of which, would you like to know something interesting related to that? To show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Like on the hand! What? They got a tattoo of Fenrir? Could that mean... It could mean... Oh, we're going straight to the class trial. Let's fucking go. I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. Organisms, the earth, natural phenomena. It damages us little by little until the end. You should really think about that. That's really deep, Monokuma. Anyway, it's time to begin the class trial. That really, that really hit me. So. Please meet up in the usual spot. <laughs> See you later. See you later. <laughs> then the time has come. All we can do now is try to uncover the truth during the class trial. That's right. It would seem that way. Let's go. This is fucking... This is a complicated trial because we have so little to work on here. We're going to have to hope for some truth bombs mm. being dropped. Whoa! Byakuya and Makoto showed up together! Uh. Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared without a word. Hm. We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? Yeah. Makoto's ranked high enough for you guys to go off to together? Just the two of you? Huh? What, are you jealous? Hey. Or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? What? Stop talking and brace yourselves. He'll be here any second. Any second, he could show up at any time. 
When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately peed myself. I know that's not what it said. <laughs> we stood there for five full minutes waiting for something weird to happen. And then five minutes became ten. Why? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma shown up yet? Could it be? Maybe he died again? Hmm. What should we do? Should we keep waiting here or <laughs> Or what? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> did I scare you? Come on. I demand an explanation. Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? Hmm? What? I made you wait? You've got it all backwards. You're the ones making me wait. Huh? In other words... I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here now, can we? <laughs> what are you talking about? Everyone is here. We've all been waiting for you. Most recent anime you've watched are Fruits ba Basket Remake Assassination Classroom and Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? I've seen uh, Girls in a Dungeon and I've seen Assassination Classroom. Haven't seen Fruits Basket yet. Sorry, but you're wrong. But I've been waiting 10 minutes now, so it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Hey. I'm here, and no rule's been broken. K Kyoko? Uh. Kyoko, you're still alive? Uh. No, it's a, it's a g g ghost! Stop talking. If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later, right? What? But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being late? Is that right? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? Meh. You're so selfish. So spoiled. You're right. There's no penalty officially. But I bet you'll be sorry later. Shing. No, I'll make sure you're sorry later. Anyway, hustle your butts onto the elevator. I'll be just one step ahead of you. When Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko! Uh, so you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God, I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Huh? He's right! Now we gotta deal with the g g g ghost <laughs> I told you, stop talking! Let's go. Come on, let's go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Without ever looking directly at Kyoko, Byakuya stepped into the elevator. <laughs> Master, wait for me. Uh, um... Good call. Who knows what might happen to us if we take too long. But... I'll be happy when this trial is all over. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator. But I couldn't help myself. I had to talk with Kyoko before tr the trial started. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... Correct. I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor? That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. <sighs> I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then, when did you find out? So... Just now. I finished my search and came back down, just in time to hear the class trial announcement. It, I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. Toko. Toko did the murder. It was Toko. However... I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to? Wrong. Actually, to be precise, not quite. No, the key goes to the door, the Monokuma door, in the, um, the data center. In other words... <clears throat> I use Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. What? Oh. Just a second! Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma! Makoto. We can go over all the details after we get through the trial, okay, Makoto? Right now, I just want to focus on surviving our current situation. It would seem... Because this is probably the single most crucial moment so far for me. For her? That's a strange way to put it. The class trial is important for everyone, right? So why would she say it's a crucial moment for her? Goodbye. Well, if that's all. Seemingly unconcerned, Kyoko made her way to the elevator. 
I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Being the last one left, I stepped into the elevator. For her. And the door slid shut. This time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began to consume me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the mental pressure that comes with preparing for an execution. In that dusky, dar dusky darkness, no one said a word. It looks so empty, right? We just stood there, silent and still. After an immeasurable period of time, the doors opened without warning. I was actually thinking the other day how... You think back to previous chapters, right? Think about back when we still had Taka. Think about when we still had Mondo, when we still had Celeste. And all this stuff is happening right now, and they're dead. They're gone. They're not here anymore. Just these people are left. It just, like, it sunk in for me, where I was like... Like, what would Taka have done in this moment? What would, like, you know? I actually, like, it, it sunk in for me, finally, like... Like, yesterday, at some point. A dazzling light penetrated every depth of my eyes, but it wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was the blinding light of despair. Ugh! I can't wait! I can't wait! Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh, God damn, that's ugly. Oh, my eyes. Ah, I've been waiting for this. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. The time for pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Trails, chill! Let's get on with the show. And so the curtain opened for the fifth time. He's going to say the thing. There we go. A deadly judgment. A deadly, deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. Oh, class trial time. Here we fucking go. Can you consider that vaporwave even? So what did we get? Um... We got the crystal prediction. Decreases an argument to three statements or less. Effective during non-stop debate and bullet time battle final strike. Three statements or less? That sounds good. I gotta pee real quick though, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. <sighs> okay, so what do I want to get rid of? Um, I also got vocabulary. Increases bullet capacity during bullet time battle. That does sound useful. Increases damage to the opponent when statement is destroyed. I'd rather have vocabulary. Um, Increases time limit for each phase. Don't really care for that. I want to get... Crystal prediction as well. So that'll make the bullet the bullet time battle or whatever. Yeah, bullet time battle a little bit easier for me. Non-stop which one was non-stop debate? I don't remember non-stop debate. Which one is that? Alright, let's go. Let's begin mm. with a basic explanation of the fucking class hate trial. this background so, so much. Your votes will determine that is the not vaporwave. No, that is. If you ugh. can figure out who, then I'll punish everyone. Okay, well. Well then. Okay, here we go. Let's discuss the specifics of the victim. 
first, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. But Kyoko's standing right there. No! That's a ghost! But she has legs and stuff. Do ghosts not have legs? Mukuro Igusaba, am I right? Yeah, the the 16 student lying in hiding in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. That one, yeah. Well, that's just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology. There's a limit to how much yeah, shut up, hero. I can tolerate. Nobody likes you, except for Kate. Um, okay. So I just have to prove that the corpse is in Kyoko, right? Um, well, okay, here's my proof. Kyoko's right here. Then let's compare Kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body. Her traits? Why do we need to do this? The gloves. I got it! I'm talking about her gloves. They'll give us some insight into the mystery. I'm sure of it. Oh my god. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. Oh my god. And would you happen to know the answer? Yes, actually. In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh, how is Kyoko going to react to this? Oh. Oh, that's it. You know, now that I think about it... The corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? Right. They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. Why do we have to humor Hero right now? Look, Kyoko is right here. N there's no way that corpse is Kyoko because she's right here. <sighs> but if I, if I can't prove why, we're going to be stuck here and the case won't move forward. So I don't have any choice but to... Oh my god, this is so stupid. Oh, that annoys me. Uh, literally any of those could work. Let's see. That Kyoko there is just a ghost. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. Explo what does the exploded body analysis say? Burnt beyond recognition on the upper half. Uh, upper half was soaking wet. Okay, that is just about the body being wet. Fake nails, just long fake nails. That's it. Tattoo is just a tattoo. Okay. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. They Oops. got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Oh, fake the nails would go there. Absolutely, Kyoko. This entire discussion is idiotic. Yes, thank you, Bianchia. Bianchia gets me. That Kyoko. Okay, then prove the dead body wasn't wearing. They got burnt up in the explosion. She was wearing gloves. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Is that cool? No, you fuck. Absolutely. This entire discussion is idiotic. Dab. There you go. I got you. They got burnt up in the explosion. She was wearing gloves before the explosion. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. I am a Bianchia fan. I'm a fanboy. I'm a simp. I love Bianchia. I want him to step on me. I don't care. I want him to insult me. There's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails. Remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? Right. It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails. Budget voice think? impression of Byakuya? What do you want me to have him say? Jeez, and it's a budget really voice not. impression, okay. You're complicated like that. Just keep that in mind. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. Just his next line, maybe? Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? No. <laughs> These custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong doesn't to belong Kyoko. Doesn't belong to Kyoko. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. Okay. So Nemu wants me to do a budget voice impression of Byakuya saying, No, I will not step on you, simp. Okay. So, Byakuya is right in front of us so we can picture him clearly with this voice. So here's Byakuya. No, I will not step on you, Sim. Okay, so then, who's the real victim? First, okay. <laughs> we need to figure that out. 
It's Muguro Ikusaba, the 16th student lying hidden in the school. Before anything, we have to identify the victim. Everything starts from there. Don't make me... <laughs> Don't... Uh, tattoo on the right hand is what we're going to do here. Kyoko really is still alive. Then who died? There's got to be some way to figure it out. Come on. The face was scorched beyond recognition. And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body... Then there's nothing else we can do, right? Can't identify the body. Yoko really then who does? There's gotta be some kind of so. The face was scorched and there wasn't any dis- oh, if we can't identify the body- then there's No, no you can fuck! Do, right? Sorry, that scared me. If Yoko really- Then who does? There's gotta be some kind of so. The face was- And there wasn't any description in the Monokuma- Oh, if we can't identify the body- Come on. There we go. No, that's wrong. Your brain cells are the ones who died after listening to Hero. That makes sense. There was one clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? For real? Yeah, for reals. For serious. They'll die a cruel and unusual death. Oh, I'm gonna do that either way, Toko. Cruel and unusual death. This I gotta see. What the fuck? She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. Oh, I want to see a cruel and unusual death. A cruel and unusual death. The key to figure I knew that, actually, was. Kate. Um, I looked into that a little bit. Is the tattoo on Very the interesting. I wonder why they made it hero and why they changed their mind about it. Yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? Her master must have made her get it. To be like, you're my bitch. I don't think that's what happened, Toko. Seriously? They really did something that humiliating? No. No, that's not it. The identity of the Oh my god, Toko. You're literally worthless. You're the next Hifumi to me. Oh, really? Who would I rank lower? Hifumi or Toko? Probably Hifumi. If you compare the tattoo to other information. Okay, which part of it was it? Um That's about the alibis. Wait. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I got it. The Fenrir Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Mukuro Ikusaba? The 16th okay, stu- so... To show that they're a member of the team, each Why do I hate all your favorite characters? Because you have bad taste in characters, duh. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We just have different tastes, that's all. ...would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their body. Fenrir? Fenrir? You mean like the puppy? The image that represents Fenrir is... Dog or wolf. Here we go. Oh, it's gonna. What could it be? Oh. Oh. Now I understand. Oh, I get it now. Oh, that was rough. But now I understand. The representation of Hold on. Fenrir is a Hold wolf. on. Hold on. I need to write something down real quick. Okay. One sec. One sec. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> I just had a fun idea for later. The wolf of it's from Norse mythology. A huge world ending wolf. Oh, wolf beast. The child of the trickster god Loki. And a female giant. Yes, yes, I know my Norse mythology. Yeah. After all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. He's a heckin' pupper. Oh, exactly. And that means. Exactly. The body we found had a mm -hmm. tattoo of a wolf. Mm-hmm. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. Which means... So it must have been yep. Mukuro. What? Oh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this? You had a Norse mythology class in middle school, Emmy? That's insane. <laughs> you sound surprised. But 
you're absolutely right! Yes, indeed! The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba! Are you saying the mastermind is dead? Now we have to have a cool last trial? Oh, that makes sense since you're Swedish, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just taking a moment because... I was just thinking like, ah uh, yes, Mukuro Ikusaba, the 16th, like I was playing that in my head and I was just thinking on a tier list, like, hmm, where would I put Mukuro Ikusaba after all we've learned about her? No, it means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the so funny. at all. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair. In no, because she's the ultimate soldier. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. Yeah, why would Kyoko mention that? I wonder. What said was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So that means. Yoko got it wrong? Um, who was she? Oh, you know what? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? Wait, okay, I'm gonna do some theory crafting based on the information that we have here. I'm gonna pull on the Scood Think cap right now. Mukuro Ikusaba came back from England or wherever to Japan unannounced. I'm guessing she was she was the ultimate soldier. She came to Hope's Peak Academy. And she's the one that murdered everybody in that classroom. She's the one that initiated the tragedy. And that's why she's known as the ultimate despair. She's been gone this whole time. And when she finally turned Fucking dab to that. Killed. I'm feeling like 500 IQ Usually right now. There's a scene where an important character dies. It has a lot more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? It must have been Very interesting. After all. Where did, maybe it wasn't England. I don't remember. <laughs> Why did I say England? Europe. Wasn't it Europe? No, they went to they went to Europe. They went to they went to Europe. Um Where did she get lost or whatever? The Middle East? That's where they that's where they were situated. Why did I say England? Yeah, what? Did I say England? What the fuck am I thinking? I don't remember. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. It's not. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a trial right now! Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost! Who killed Mukuro? Please the way he says that. Prattle, chatter, and chit -chat as much as oh, possible. the background walls just caught my eye again. Uncovering the identity of the mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. Family name? Togami? I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, let me state this one more time for the record. Okay. The reason we're having a class trial is because <laughs> oh my God. a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brain. Yeah, okay, okay, back on. What you're saying is yep. that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Wait, no. There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding. No, all no, along. no, hero. That's no. Nope. There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events. Seriously? Then one of us killed Mukuro? Was it Toko? Who did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Not as much as you thought, Biakia. Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Toko and Genocide Jack is what I personally think, but this is what they want me to say. I've narrowed it down to Yoko and me. 
Ikurum. <laughs> Ikuru. Ikuru Mukozaba, the 17th student. Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden, so I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. So, the murder must have taken mm. place after nope, I left the garden. Nope, you're wrong. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I you're were wrong. the entire time. The gym? I am about to tear this apart. That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. We even peed together. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis are me and Makoto. That's why you're able that's, to narrow down That's the not an airtight system. alibi because the murder happened in the morning. Exactly so. The only suspects now are me and Kyoko. I can't let this stand. Somehow I have to clear my name. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? I absolutely am. The an 18th student. <laughs> Zukuro Mukubaba. Well, before that, the 18th student. I just student. want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Yep. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and the 20th student. The, body wasn't in the, garden. <laughs> the 53rd student. How many students are lying in hiding? Like, how many? What? Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we. Oh, wait. Could it have been Toko? Because they said that the. No, they said that the blood was still wet. Oh, but. What time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? And she went to go get the Yeah. Body. At nine o'clock. I got it! The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Yeah. Mm, Toko, what time is it? We left the gym before nine. Go get the pickaxe. Be back by 9.01. Yep. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. Correct. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit. So I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. Yeah, at 7, 7.30. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? That was around... Oh, yeah! Right yeah, 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in. So I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't but have an alibi. But the sprinklers go off at 7.30, and then they could say that I moved the body or something, I guess. That makes sense. The murder happened between 10 p.m. and 9 a.m., and I don't have an alibi from 10 p.m. to 7.30. Looks like the game has begun. I, if I can't prov provide an alibi for that period, I just have to prove the murder didn't happen during the time I don't have an alibi. To do that, I have to make it clear when the body ended up in the garden. It, it appeared in the garden after, yeah. Um, sprinklers. Wait, 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 wait. We've established. Wait, wait, wait. Sprinklers or exploded body? Upper half remained on fire. Sprinklers. The upper half was soaking wet. Bottom ha half remained dry. But it's wet because I splashed the water on the fire. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. Right there is when I'm going to shoot. more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So, Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. I do have objections, actually. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And Makoto the yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7 30. No, go, go! Wait, no. Every morning at 
Oh, if it had been in the garden before 7.30. Oh, okay. So I'll do it for the 10 o'clock one. There we go. Okay, I got it the other way around. Contradiction, not like confirming. Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. And what makes you say that? Because I'm a genius. Because of the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning, right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30, then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Did they forget about the part where I dumped water on the flaming corpse? Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? How? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew The mouth down work? south was wet. No, I'm saying that the God damn it, Toko. Wet, but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean? By denying the sprinkler, are you trying to deny my entire existence? Yes, I am. Man, you're totally I wish I could do that. I wish I could get away with that, you Toko. Really think it wasn't the sprinkler. You better tell us why. I need to prove that the spring wasn't the sprinklers that got the body wet. If we look at the body itself, that should make it clear. Alright, let's fucking fight, Toko. I'm fucking amazing at this game. Look How at me. Look at me. Flawless, and I didn't need concentration. I'm amazing. Just remember what the body was like after the explosion. An alto and ego. You'll see why it wasn't the sprinklers. The top half of the body was wet. Yes, yes. But the bottom half was completely dry. She was not interested. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? Mm-hmm. So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? What a brutal maniac! What? I'm so sick of her. Yo, same, Hina. Let's just move on. The reason only the top half was wet was because... I guess Toka was blown away into a wall or something While the when that body happened. Was still on fire, I doused it with water, but only the part on fire, the top half. Yep, yeah, makes sense. Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really didn't. So if the sprinklers didn't get the body wet, then the murder must have taken place after 7:30. Yep. 7:30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at nine. Uh huh. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from ten o'clock last night to seven thirty this I'm morning. I'm free. Right? Toko was Jack when it happened. Oh, yeah, fair. So there's no way Makoto could have done it. Right, Toko would have no way of knowing that the body exploded until afterwards. Right. In which case, the only one left without. She just saw that it was burnt to a crisp. Yoko's the only one without an alibi, which would mean that Mukuro's killer is... I refuse to believe it. I know they're really trying to make me think that that's the case. And that it's like a, oh, it really was her, and we have to, like, prove her wrong only to find out that it really was. Kyoko murdered someone? That's... I'd just like to say one thing. If you vote for me, and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. That's a weird way to put that, Kyoko. So are you saying you're not the culprit? 
Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the Mastermind has laid for us. A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game and now you decide to blame me? Yep. Stop wasting time. Interesting. Stop wasting energy. You really think your little trick is going to work? Shut up, you. <laughs> I love you, Biakia. You got it, boss. Shutting up now. Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? Huh? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. That's fair, honestly. So she killed her. To that's a that's initially why I thought that it was her. Right, Kyoko. But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So that was her motive? That was my initial thought when this all went down. She had a motive. And no I don't think that's the case anymore. I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's gotta be the culprit. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Don't try to blame me. The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. Yeah, because the body could have been moved. What are you? Because you see, there is a way the body could have been moved. getting wet. There's also no blood underneath the body. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. A certain something. I have to. <laughs> I'm the one who has to throw it out there. I got it. That's funny. You're talking about the tarp, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tarp, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty. Because that's the side that got covered in water. Why would it be dirty if it was covered in water? Wouldn't the water wash away the, the dirt? The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. No blood stains. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. That is pretty smart if that is the case. In other words... To create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Why would Kyoko say that? Why would she want to make me look like the killer? I can't think about that right now. That tarp. If it was used the way Kyoko said, the tarp must have touched the body, right? Which means there should have been blood. But the body... Wait. Oh wait, no, the body wasn't wet. Or have a tarp or anything. And what might that be? I can't worry about Kyoko's motivations. If I don't do something, everyone's gonna think I'm the killer. I have to refute what Kyoko said. Yeah, the state of the body before, it didn't have a tarp. Body before the explosion, yeah. By covering the body with the tarp, the killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was facing down toward the body, of course it didn't get dirty. I don't think so, buddy. I'm a freaking genius. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because of the blood. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. Don't touch it, you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. Then it would be wet. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just yeah. Watching the one side wouldn't hide anything. What? Oh. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Huh? The blood was camouflage. What if, 
after the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim. You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like what? that? What? I know! They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be I mean, I guess they have to cover all their bases. No, that's not what happened this But time. also, what? The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Which must mean... Oh! I got it. Oh, the chicken! Could it have been chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? When I checked the chicken coop before the murder... Is it, what? I, I'm not chickens. following this at all. But after the murder, there were only four. So, you're saying someone killed a chicken? And then covered the body with its blood? Why? Man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. <laughs> I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. Yeah, he has only got food on the mind. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Yeah. The victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I have to agree. That certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. Why? They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Wait, no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Oh, I see. It was just draped over top of the person. Yeah. That settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time keeping up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off. But the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they've already covered in blood. Okay. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. This is really well thought out. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off at 7.30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? Toko. Wait, no, they were together all night. That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Huh? They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe, but still. Hina, after you I'm met so up with fucking Makoto confused. in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh, no. I headed off to the gym, and Makoto didn't show up till later. I went to the school store. I did the Monokuma, the, the coin thing. I wanted gifts. Cut me some goddamn slack, would you? Then he had plenty of time to spare. Wouldn't oh, you I was getting gifts from the store. <laughs> That's not... I have an alibi. Don't bother saying it's not possible. I didn't murder a hen. I was getting little toys. I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. Oh, come on. I got some cool stuff. I can show you. Look, I just like pull out like a fuck ton of like random shit. I'm like, look at all this. This is what I was doing. I went to the store. I got all these gifts. I was going to give them to you guys. But why? Why is Kyoko trying to entrap me? I don't understand. This 
Sky's dead body has been added to the truth bu bullet section. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. <sighs> what does disguised body actually say, though? I just want to see. Murder took place before the sprinklers turned on. The suspect covered the body with a tarp to prevent it from getting wet. Later, when they removed the tarp, the suspect placed a white jacket on the body. This jacket had previously been treated with blood to make it look like the corpse had been wearing it. All right. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. No. 50-50 odds. Oh. See? Pretty good idea, right? Uh, no, no, not you. No, not <laughs> I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? Oh, this is gonna put so much blame on me. The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? Oh no. According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to back. This is bad for Makoto. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife somewhere before. That's what I thought when I first saw it. I just remembered. Yeah. Should I talk about the dream I had last night? It won't be a good alibi, but... Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do? Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? It's the knife we gave to Makoto? Unless it was Kyoko that did it. You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. We had no it's reason just... to bring it up. <gasps> oh, we got the scene again. Yes! <laughs> I couldn't be sure of what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto. Now I'm totally convinced he did it. 12,000% convinced. 12,000%. That's pretty convinced. Considering everything up until now, I should be able to make it clear. I have to prove I didn't murder anyone. I'm not the killer. I just pull out all the gifts. Look, guys. Um, fragments near the dead body, exploded body, disguised dead body. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one that we gave to Makoto. Hmm. It really is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. I did. Yeah. Just That's because true. I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? Mm, so there's no Not question. necessarily. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. What a horrible man. No, this it's not necessary. Wait, 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 wait. We don't know that the stab is what killed her. Yeah, the knife went through the... That's true. Wait, exploded body analysis. Oh, wait, no. It would be... Um, it would be disguised dead body. I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, that seals it. Makoto, just because I had the that automatically. Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? Nope. It no, is not. Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. We don't have proof. That should be clear from the description of the cover up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her. No. Don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp and then put the bloody coat on it, right? Yeah, the knife was sticking out of that. In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine. So what? So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, 
if she wasn't stabbed and killed the I am not following any of this trial, by the way. I just want to make that perfectly clear. Obviously, the stab wound isn't what killed her. Like, I'm following it piece by piece, but I, I have no forethought on to what it could be. Maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her and once to cover it up. The victim was tabbed twice in the same spot? No, there's no way that's possible. The exact condition of the body was written down for everyone to see. It would just be this, right? Yeah. The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. Totally forgot about that. I mean, it's purposely confusing. It's it's really well done. It's keeping us confused along with the students. They're just as confused as I am. It's just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Exploding the body afterward was probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed him. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Very clever. Oh, hey, I have a question. This is a really well thought out murder. What's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like that? If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Oh, I love that. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum mm. particle at atomic levels. That's a solid point. Question. That's probably what it was. I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her or we won't make any headway. <laughs> Why me? There's only one explanation I can think of, and that is the, um... Uh... uh, uh fragments near the dead body. I got it. After the explosion, Where'd they get the bomb? A tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? The bomb was missing from the Monokuma thing. From the gym. That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? You know, I feel like I've seen something like it somewhere before. That's only natural. Because, of course, we saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. It's part of a bomb. Bomb? Oh, then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. I just had a funny thought. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the. What moment. if it was Hero that did it, and the whole stupid act is all just an act? They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal. And he's injury, actually very so smart and very, very, very smart and methodical person. And the only one who would right? benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Byakuya. Hold on, B Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. A titanium arrow. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. We need to determine what ultimately killed the victim. I need to concentrate. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Then shall we continue the debate? Easy enough. The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yes. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't you because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Oh yeah. Um according to the monitor. Yep, 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 yep. That's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. That's it. That, 
The victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then shall we continue the victim's fatal injury? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, oh wait, I think I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. Fuck, fuck! And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her. Well, yeah. Would... And it wasn't the rituals of the night. There's only one. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the monarch, that's Come on. gotta be it. There was evidence that showed you nope. a on the back of her head. Okay, a budget voice impression. Okay, here we go. Monokuma. Picture Monokuma here. I am the son of God. Up, 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 up. Ooh. Then shall we continue? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be explosion. Victim's fatal injury. Well, yeah. And it wasn't me because of the night. What did Byakia say exactly? There was evidence that showed and more than that. The victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Then shall we continue that the victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. The wounds are unrelated to the fatal injury. Well, yeah. And it wasn't me because of Fuck. the There's only one other. Oh, yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire nope. body. Shoot. This is rough. Okay, so is it? Is it? Am I overthinking this? Okay, let me let me read this very closely. Then shall we continue the well, shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury. Fatal has injury has yet to be determined. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. For sure. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. I think I know what I need to do here. It wasn't me because of the knife, right? Then there's only one other thing. Oh yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. And more than that. The victim had suffered countless wounds. Okay, I think I get it. Body. If I do this then shall we continue right the here, the victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. Boom! I got it. Mukuro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. What about the wounds all over the rest of her mm -mm. body? Nothing to do with it. Didn't have anything to do with it? Nope. The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. Okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. Yep. What was the murder weapon? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blunt object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe. No. How is that even possible? If you <laughs> someone that, it had caved their skull in completely. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. <laughs> Holding up the top of the pickaxe like this. No way! The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind That's of power. That's so stupid, yeah. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. Yeah, go for it. No thanks. I bet you just hit me with a metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground, and, and spit on it. <laughs> I feel the same way. Looks like we're on the same page this time. Why? Why are they getting along so well? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Surely you've deduced the real murder weapon? Wait, am I Toko? I just realized, am I Toko? Because of how much I'm simping for Byakuya? I've become the one thing I hate more than anything. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh, I feel awful right now. The real murder weapon. What was that? Yep, easy. Lucaro was hit in the back of the head with something, and that's what killed him. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. Was it Kyoko? Indeed, there's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds kind of weird. Hey! How dare you backtalk, Master? You have no right! I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame Hina for doubting it because there's one more thing about that weapon. One more secret. Well, Dennis I Jack is also simping for Byakuya. Let's be real. The woodblock key? Is that what it is? The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? Yep. I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because in the Monokuma file... It said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe. They are pretty thick. It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to Master. You have no right! There appear to be ten in total. You can grab multiple of them and do it all at once. That's kind of weird. And woodblock key is the other one. They use multiple arrows, plural. I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, was in the Monokuma file, <coughs> said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. No, oh, I, I missed it. Talking back to Master, you have no right! The titanium, it was in the dojo. I have no doubt that was... Are you sure? You don't sound... But, but it said the weapon must have been about as thick as... It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. That's not it. What? Shoot. Okay, hold on a second. Need to drink some water. Okay. The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? This is a tough one. I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? Right. It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Too thin. Talking back to Master. Too thin. You have no right! I'm on the right track. I know what it is. I'm on, I'm on the right track. I got it. The titanium arrow. The bloody duct tape. The, they taped the arrows the together. I have no doubt that was the Are you sure? It don't sound but it said the weapon must have been... It seems like an arrow would just be... Oh my god, I'm brilliant. I figured it out. I felt good, honestly. You're right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Two arrows. Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled up wad of duct tape. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple arrows yep. together. Yep. Bundling them together. So I was on the right track. That's brilliant. Easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. One stick is weak, but put them together, 
and they become strong. She's speaking clearly. Damn, Don't harsh. stop the debate. I'm not. How is it harsh? Are you even listening? Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. Those are the lyrics. Lyrics to what? As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Oh no. You absolutely You absolutely have, yeah. How can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof. Wait, but no 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 no. Wait a second. But she didn't have the key to her room and the key to the locker was in her room. Oh. Um Did Byakuya do the murdering? Hmm. What's the matter? This is a very elaborate, planned out thing, and this seems like a very Byakuya murder. Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. Byakuya, don't tell me it was you, buddy. The death of us all, remember? Uh, of course I remember. Then show us. No. Show everyone the evidence that proves Kyoko went to the dojo. No, but 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 he had her key. That's the thing. I got it. The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here. The key to the dojo lock. And how does that prove anything? Because I found it in your room. It was in my room. Don't bother trying to play dumb. Oh, Byakuya. That key is just the final piece of the puzzle. Your non-existent alibi, your clear motive, your attempts to frame Makoto for the crime. This all proves that you are the true culprit. You can't explain this away, so just give up. Oh, Byakuya, how? Hold on a second. No. Not this again. You really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No. It's not that I want to defend her. Yes, you it's do. Just, there's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just... Protecting you. What? She was protecting me? Does that mean she... She knew I was being attacked. And she came to my rescue. Could that be when... Which would mean that Kyoko... She killed someone for me? That's enough. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait. I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know? Yep, it's about this, the key. Yakuya should know better than anyone? What does that mean? Uh, the key! Come on, Makoto! Get with the fucking program here! When the body was found. Those when the body was found. What does it say specifically in the truth bullet? 7 a.m. Makoto wakes up to the war morning announcement. 7.30. Makoto and Aoi arrive at the dining hall. 7.30 to 9 a.m. Makoto meets the others in the gym and together they head to the headmaster's room. 9 a.m. Toko is pulled upon the pickaxe in the garden where she discovers the body. Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Yakuya, what are you hiding? Master, would you never? I only have one chance to fuck up here. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory earlier. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo locker. And then left the locker key in my own room, correct? But 
Could I really have done that? Okay, how do I... The key in her room. Yeah. Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. Not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone. I'm here. not the killer. What are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. There's proof that you are There's the proof. Is that what you're... You stated that you said I hid the evidence of my crime and then left the locker key, the lock in, my key in my own Correct. room. Could I really have done that? I can't say that word now. Okay, I'll try my best. How long did I say for that to be? Was it five minutes? I just want to confirm. IRL word ban. Where is it? Where is it? There. Five minutes. Okay. It's Friday. True. Okay. Before I start the timer. See, I said it. Before I start the timer, I can't say the word the. That's the word ban. So going forward for the five minutes, I can't see. I can't say it. And starting now. Kyoko gave her room key to Byakuya, right? Which would mean... Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. Not killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. I can only Byakuya. mess up once. What are you hiding? Master would mean you never hide. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're uh, you This the one? And then left the locker key in my own room. Correct. But could I really have done that? Those words you just exactly. I'm not the killer. You should understand. Yakuya. There's what proof. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Boom. No, Got it. Wrong. Okay. This is good. If I'm right, Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room because Yakuya had Kyoko's key. Because she had given a room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what <laughs> He's so shocked. And if I had the key to your room... Then obviously I had no way of getting in. Nope. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. So now Byakuya is a prime suspect? Am I wrong? It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. No, that's not actually true. There was a clear contradiction in what Kyoko just told us. An obvious lie. But this just isn't like her. To try and save herself with such a desperate lie? Does she really feel that threatened? Because she's... Killer? <laughs> or is it something else? Was there some deeper meaning hitting in what Kyoko said earlier? If you vote for me and I die here, mystery of this school will stay hidden forever, which is why I can't let that happen. Okay. This is a trap Mastermind laid for us. The Mastermind- Damn it! Ugh! I said it. Uh, I don't think I put any kind of, um... Reward for it or anything. But, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna... I'm, who, who did it? Kate? I, um... I was gonna put this as the reward if I end up saying the word. I was gonna make it so that whoever did it, I, I would gift a sub to. But you already are a sub. So who do you want me to gift it to? I'm, I'm, I'm able to say it now. <laughs> the mastermind is trying to trap Kyoko. 
but what if that's not really true uh it is a bit it's a decent size reward i think if i do i'm gonna i'm gonna keep that as what i do however i'm going to limit the amount of times that i can people can um do that per stream so that it doesn't make me completely broke uh gift sub reward uh irl word ban oh for nemu how nice nemu enjoy your new sub I can't do it. Give me a second. It cuts off the gift sub thing on my screen here. There we go. I got it. Complete purchase. Complete purchase. It's not letting me hit complete purchase now. Hold on. Nope. I'm determined. I've made my decision. I'm making this happen. I have another way to do this. If I do it from this page... One sub... This is just a community gift sub. I don't want to do that. Specific user. How do I do this? Twitch, how do you work? Gift to the community, gift to a specific viewer. There we go. Oh god, there's two people with that same username? That, that... I hope this is the right person. There we go, Nemu. Are you a sub now? Wait for it. There we go. You got it. Okay. I've confirmed. I, I was making sure because when I searched your name, there was two that were identical and I had to select from one of the two. Weird. What if that's not really true? What can I do? What should I do? What should I... The mastermind's trap. The victim was Mukuro and Kyoko killed her? What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's lie. I'm the only one who knows it's a lie. What was Kyoko's lie? I feel like I missed it. Okay, right Ah, oh, there's proof! Okay, Kyoko wouldn't be able to get into a room. And if I had the key to your room, then obviously I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have... Oh, because she had the key to get into anything that she, any room that she wanted to. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that completely. Who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. We know the danger if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. What do I do? I have to decide right here and now what- Oh! Run away! <laughs> oh no, I- There was a lie hidden within Kyoko's statement just now. Kyoko, I'm sorry! Right, you said it. The burden of proof is on you. I have the proof. So let's hear it. Where's this lie then? Kyoko's definitely lying, and it must be because there's some other deeper truth she wants to keep hidden. Mm. I'm sorry, Kyoko. I didn't have the key to my room because I'd given it to Byakuya. There's no doubt about that, right? You are correct. So I couldn't possibly have gotten into my room. No, it's wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, Kyoko. No, Kyoko could have gotten into a room. You said so yourself, didn't you, Kyoko? Actually, to be precise, not quite. I use Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. Yep. Monokuma's secret tool? Kyoko stole it from the headmaster's room. It lets you get into any room in the school. Which means, she could have used it to get into her own room. Then I guess that's it. You're giving up just like that? You admit to killing- No. I'm simply recognizing that I lost. 
What are you talking about? Like I said, this was a trap. And I wasn't able to escape. Oh, interesting. So I lost. That's all this means. Then, are you saying you really didn't Kyoko? You really aren't the killer? Okay, time's up! We have a time limit? Huh? No, there's no time limit. I'm sorry to say, but your time is up! All done, all finished. The class trial is all over. But that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's when what? Is there any? It's because you were late. So the trial started late and time ran out. So then, it's time for voting time. Okay? Oh no. Please vote using Is this the alternate ending? <laughs> but I guess we already know who the blackened is, don't we? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. What's gonna happen? Oh wait. Wait, she actually was? <laughs> you got it right! Brilliantly right! We got it right. Does that mean Kyoko really is the killer? But something strange is going on here. There's something wrong with this whole class trial. Kyoko. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment. Alternate time. ending time. Oh no. Kyoko, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Kyoko, no! After school lesson. I wanted to be crushed by Kyoko's thighs. I didn't want her to be crushed. It's about reproduction. What? Huh? What? Oh, that's awful. It's not going to be what kills her. Or maybe it was. I thought it was going to stop right before it hit her and then something else was going to kill her. And that's how the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba came to an end. This <laughs> Kyoko also failed sex class. I saw the wonder whether Kyoko was actually innocent, or regardless, the truth was lost forever, even for me. I just stopped thinking about it. That was the end of Mukuro's class trial, and in the end, it would prove to be our last class trial. Once that case was over, there was never a single murder at Hope's Peak ever again. We'd obtain peace in exchange for the lives of all the others. Oh my god! We act me and Hero actually had a mother shared the No Poor Hina. Maybe not poor Hina. Maybe maybe this was okay for her. I don't know. Hero predicted this. Yeah, exactly. Peace but only inside the school. Peace but only for us. What the fuck happened to Toko? Byaki is so happy about it. That was the only hope we had. Hope. Hope. Hope? This is hope? Yeah, why is Toko dead, but nobody was murdered? 
Huh? Makoto, why are you staring off into space? Don't you have a rebuttal for Kyoko? That was interesting. Her claim? Oh, that's right. I have to... Do I expose her lie or not? Okay. Oh, okay, think about this very carefully. Here we go. I'm gonna pursue the lie. I'm sorry, Kyoko. No, just kidding. Just do it again. <laughs> what happens if I hit run away? Running away isn't gonna solve anything. Okay, fine. Maybe she's the one taking the picture. <laughs> but she's shown it. Maybe Pyaki is doing it as a joke. I've made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. Well, no, Toko couldn't have killed herself. Because that would have caused another class trial. And he stated this was the last class trial. Sakura's suicide also had a class trial. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. There has to be some secret here. Something that has to do with the Mastermind's trap that Kyoko mentioned. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That Died from natural causes? Maybe she got sick or something? Or, yeah. That wouldn't cause a class trial. If, if it was an intentional murder towards yourself, a suicide, it would be a class trial. But if it was just like, maybe the body was never discovered. Wait. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait a second. What if Byakuya killed her? That's why he was smiling with her thing. And then he hid the body. And nobody ever found it. You can't have a trial without a discovery. Exactly. If she locks herself in her room forever, that might be what happened, honestly. But would that be suicide based on self, like, neglect? I guess it still would count. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? You! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone, or put the key in Kyoko's room. Someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? It, it had to be Makoto, right? Well, Byakuya also was I there. I don't see any other option. Wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Everyone totally knows Byakuya killed her and knows exactly where the body is, but because they don't want another class trial, they just ignore it. it one more time. <laughs> oh my god, imagine. Byakuya is just like, by the way, I killed Toko. Don't go looking for the body. Let's just live here in peace now. Huh? A hidden side? First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. You all see it, don't you? Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead, and then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said, it's a trap the Mastermind set for us. So that's why this has to be... Okay, time's up! Oh, we still get the time's up there. Huh? Time's up! Class trial's all over! Everyone can stop talking now! What? Time? What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. Since one of we it's because you were late. So we had to So this still happens either way. Interesting. So then it's time for voting time, okay? Everyone, please vote using the lever in front of you. Voting time. Oh, it just ends there. Oh, that's wild. Give me my coins. Nice. Now, who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? I'm so the confused. Wrong one? Hey, hold on. I've never seen that sprite before. Look at that. That's beautiful. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? A scared and shocked Makoto. 
What is it gonna be, actually? Is it gonna be Makoto? What? What? You think I'm the killer? Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. Everyone, you're wrong. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do it. Yes, indeed. Good job, everyone. Good job. Yep. Yeah, they got it right. Well, now we know for sure, because we went the other route, that it would be right no matter who we choose, or maybe they were specifically trying to get either me or Kyoko. None of this makes any sense. This whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey. It makes perfect sense. Shing. It's the same as always. It's just like all the other class trials, and I'm going to end it the same way. Thrills, chills, kills. It's time for your heart-pounding, positively thrilling punishment. Wait, why do I... Kyoko. I don't expect you to forgive me. I know this is all my fault. What? Kyoko? Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! Yo, does Makoto actually fucking die? Whoa, okay. If so, this is a really good twist. Kill off the main character? Can I play as Byaku, you know? Oh, we get the same punishment, though. Interesting. Very interesting. This is exactly the same, just with Makoto so far. Does it get stopped, or do we actually lose the main character here? Do we play as Kyoko for the last chapter? That would be interesting. Yeah, the exact same class trial, either way. Play as to if I play as Toko, I'm literally just quitting the playthrough. Oh no, Makoto. Oh! Oh! Dude! Do I think a Danganronpa game would kill off their pro protagonist? Absolutely I do. That seems like a very Danganronpa thing to do, actually. Yo, and ultimate luck. Yeah, that's very true. Did you forget that you have plot armor? I mean, it, it, I literally believe that anyone could die. Uh, that is my ent entire talent. That's a good point. What's this? What's going on? Um, hey, was that? Uh, um, uh, yeah, it had to be. Th this is uh, Alter Ego. Uh, alter Ego? Is this some stupid virus from that stupid guy? He must have planted it when he invaded my network. Damn it all the hell, I don't believe this. It, seem... it seems you finally made a miscalculation. Hmm. No, you miscalculated from the very beginning. What the heck? What was that? Words, what I'm saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. Hmm. Huh. Why are you talking like you've already won? I barely felt a thing. It was a pinch, an itch. The stupid virus is gone now, got it? And so is Makoto. Maybe I didn't get to smash him flat, but you're you're never going to see him again. Yahoo! To waste away in a garbage-strewn pit. In a way, that's even better special punishment. <laughs> but it's still not enough. I'm still not satisfied. I'm still going to bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. The opposite of plot armor. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shit luck. Is he gone? 
<sighs> hey, Kyoko, what's the meaning of all this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? In other words. Now it's the mastermind, the mastermind that's ensnared. What? What did you say? W what are you talking about? How much into chapter five am I? We just finished the class trial. Alter ego showed up, saved Makoto. Maybe. So... Also, welcome in. How you doing, Shmulik Balulik? What a name. I love that. You'll understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. End of chapter 5. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings in this bustling urban area. It's like the school stands at the center of the entire world. Are we getting... Are we getting our memory back? Hope's Peak Academy. It brings in top students from every field imaginable. A government-funded school of privilege. They say that if you come here and manage to graduate, you'll be set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, it sends the cream of the crop into the workforce every year. It was built to raise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There's two things you need to attend this school. You have to restart the game. That's It's over. Start from the beginning. One, you have to already be attending high school. Two, you have to be at the very best at what you do. No ordinary student could enroll here. The only way is if you're scouted by the school itself. And standing there at the gate of the ultimate school filled with the ultimate students was me. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body felt heavy. Surprise, this is a near game. You gotta replay the whole game to get ending B. Oh my god, imagine. It wouldn't be weird for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing asleep just now? It wasn't any classroom I'd ever been in before. What the heck is going on? Here we go. Oh, look at this. Finally, I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again. And then... You're the one that watches the VODs, woke up in the middle of the night and saw how I was live, so you thought you might check in? Oh, well, thanks for watching the VODs, and thanks for checking in. Uh, a quick question for you guys. How much longer in this chapter, time-wise, would you say? Like, don't tell me how much more is gonna happen. Don't tell me what's gonna happen. Just, like, give me a time estimate. If it's gonna be, like, another hour, I might consider stopping soon. If it's gonna be, like, 10-15 minutes, I'll just go over stream time. I don't care, I just- I don't want to know, like, where I'm gonna end stream, you know? I could finally feel my mind and body start to come to get back together, and then... I was awake. Or was this just another dream? A dream inside a hopeless nightmare? No, this isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. I was in a vast dark cavern with the barest hint of light seeping in. Trash was piled high across the whole area. 15 to 25? Okay, even if it's like a half an hour, I'll keep going. If I if I can end within the next 40 minutes, so like 11 11:30 p.m. my time, I'll just keep going until until I'm done. This must be some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. But that was just the beginning of my problems. Was I going to be stuck in there till I wasted away and died? No, I can't let that happen. Not after what my good friend went through to save me. Last chapter would take another couple streams, but the end of chapter 5 is near. That's kind of what I was thinking. The end of chapter 5 would be over soon. And I figured chapter 6 would be either two streams or one long one. I think I'm going to do two streams. I'm going to do my normal length stream, end it wherever feels good around that time, and then finish whatever little bits left of chapter 6, and then go straight into free time event stuff. However, I'm going to use the bathroom before we continue. Please don't go anywhere. I will be back in just a couple minutes, not even... Take this opportunity to get up and stretch, use the bathroom yourself, grab a snack. It'll be maybe three minutes before I'm back. Maybe a little longer. Maybe five.
so, chat, I have um, a single question for you all before we continue this Danganronpa stream. Why are you talking about animal dicks while I'm gone? Anyone? Anyone? All right, well, let's continue this game, shall we? <laughs> Uh, I remembered all too well what had happened. Alter Ego saved me. And he used up the last little bit of his strength to do it. So I can't give up now. For myself and for my friend. And with that, my pursuit of survival began. First was to start looking for a way out of here. Door is the first obvious choice. It's locked. No matter how many times I pushed or pulled or kicked at it, it didn't budge. It's not going to be that easy. Well, if I'm not getting out anytime soon... I decided to look around for some food. There's plenty of food here, but it's all rotten. But that was pointless, too. Next, I search for some water. Not gonna be sure which liquids I can drink and which ones are all around bad idea. Again, pointless. I feel like I'm blocked in on all sides, but that's still not enough reason to give up because... Because I'm still alive. As long as I'm alive, I'll never give up. After making that proud declaration, the next thing I decided to do was... Go to sleep. My sleep was deep and in uninterrupted. That was my only way, way to preserve what little strength I had left after not being able to eat or drink. I can't be sure, but I think at least a full day had to have passed. And all I did was sleep and sleep. It was like I was waiting for some kind of sign to come falling out of the sky. However, what fell from the sky wasn't a sign. Not exactly. Is it Monokuma's special tool that can unlock any lock in the school? What the? The strange sound pierced my silent isolation, jarring me awake. As I watched the pile of garbage jostled and formed an odd shape. Did something fall down over there? Something fell from above. What could it have been? Did a giant piece of trash just fall down here? I carefully stretched out my hand towards whatever it was that tumbled down here without or with me. Just a second. A giant piece of trash? Rude. Before she even emerged from the pile of garbage, I knew who it was. <laughs> it smells awful. Hi, Kyoko. Indeed. You look like you're doing better than I expected. What are you doing here? So... Isn't it obvious? I'm here to help you. I'm glad to hear that, Kyoko. You got a bit of garbage in your hair. She gave her head a quick, sharp shake to get rid of the trash, then faced me again. Hey. First, I have something for you. Go ahead and eat it. We can talk once you're finished. Thank you! I snatched the bread and water that she was holding out for me. Within seconds, it was in my mouth and making its way toward my stomach. That was a pretty nice hat. Kyoko with or without noodles. How do you like your Kyoko? Do you like her with cup noodle or without? Phew, that really hit the spot. Now I've got all the energy I need to keep going. <laughs> so you still haven't given up then? Of course not. After all, the fact that I can keep going forward is all, about all I'm good at. Hmm? Well, that's not such a bad thing to be good at. But Kyoko, why'd you come to rescue me? So... To pay a debt. Or no, to atone. Atone? You. During the trial, even though you knew I was lying, you didn't say anything. <laughs> well... About that. <laughs> about that one, Kyoko. Um... Nah, you're right. I didn't say a thing. I kept your secret. So you knew that I knew. Indeed. But even though I knew, I did nothing to help you. Um. I abandoned you. Don't say that! You didn't abandon me! No, that's exactly what I did. I abandoned you in order to save my own life. You were trying to save me, and I couldn't bring myself to do the same for you. However... But listen, not that I'm trying to make excuses, but... There was a reason that I had to survive to matter the cost. Why did you have to survive? It's true. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. The reason I have to survive In other words, is so that I can do what I came to the school to do. What? I made up my mind to come to Hope's Peak Academy for one very important reason. Indeed. 
At least I did once. Once. I... Until recently, I'd forgotten what it was. You forgot? But that's... <laughs> Ikaro Mukaba. Mukuaba. The 17th student lying hidden somewhere in the school. Yes, of course. I had no memory of what my purpose was. Amnesia? Then is it really true? You lost your memory? Makoto. Do you remember Makoto? Do you remember the first thing that happened to each of us as soon as we arrived at this school? The first thing? You're talking about when we fainted, right? I fainted and when I woke up, I was trapped here. That's right. I fainted too, and when I woke up, I noticed a strange feeling of separation within myself, a disconnect. It would seem... Thinking back on it now, at that point my memory was gone. At that time, I'd forgotten. I couldn't remember why I had come to this school, and I couldn't remember what my ultimate ability was. But what would make you forget all that? Hey. Strange, isn't it? It's hard to imagine it happened by chance. It seems much too convenient. Are you saying you think you lost your memory because... Indeed. I don't think. I'm positive it was the work of the Mastermind. They stole my memory. Well, I knew they did that for everyone for, like, f four chapters now. But why would they want to do that? There's only one reason I can come up with. Because of my purpose and my ability, somehow they would interfere with the Mastermind's plans. So the Mastermind just stole them from you? However... And it could also mean... Somehow, my memories may be connected to the mystery of this school, and the Mastermind. Which is why I have to get them back. That's why I've been investigating things by myself this whole time. But if what you say is true, why didn't you ask the rest of us to help you? Why is that? If I did that, and we all worked as one, the Mastermind would have noticed right away. Plus, there's always the chance that the Mastermind is actually one of us. What? Correct. Well, don't make too big a deal of it. It's just a possibility. But since it is a possibility, we can't ignore it, right? The Mastermind, one of us. If she believed that, then of course she couldn't trust anyone around her. In which case, it only makes sense that she would look into her missing memory by herself. However... That being said, there was a limit to what I could do by myself, which is why I asked you to help me. But why me? Because among everyone, you were the least likely to be the mastermind. That was just intuition, but... I see. Your intuition was right, though. There's no way an ordinary kid like me could have been the mastermind. I... understand. I should... understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's... to stay here. It's just like the dream I had before, but why did that just happen? Listen. Are you okay? Oh yeah, it's not- just fucking tell her! It is nothing, right? Hey. Even now I still trust you, you know. It's just I'm not used to relying on others. Correct. I know I never asked you for your help the right way, so I understand if you're not convinced. Honestly, I was convinced. I think that's just her personality. You said you had a reason for doing all that investigating on your own, so how'd that turn out? Were you able to remember anything? So... I think there's still a lot I don't remember, but at the very least, I was finally able to recall my purpose and my ability. I... My ability, what everyone should have known me for. The ultimate detective! No fucking shit! Wow, real- Ooh, big surprise! Never saw that one coming. R what? The ultimate detective. Correct. And the reason I came to Hope Speak Academy, there was someone I had to find here in the school. Who? So. Well, it was the headmaster of Hope Speak Academy. The headmaster? It's her father. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a genius. I, I guess that, like, also, like, three or four chapters ago. <laughs> What? In other words, I was separated from him as a child. As it turns out, he became the headmaster of Hope's Peak. Kyoko's dad... Is Hope's Peak's headmaster? Then that means... When Alter Ego told us he thought the headmaster was involved... I... I'll find a way. Huh? huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. So, um... I... 
As you wanted to find the 16 student lying hidden somewhere in the school, Mukuro Ikusaba, yeah, we, the, also known as the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. <laughs> My memory hadn't come back at that point, but when he said that, I felt strange. It makes perfect sense now, of course, since my whole purpose was c for coming here was to find him. However, But listen, Makoto, I want to make this perfectly clear so there's no misunderstanding. I said the headmaster wasn't the mastermind, but I didn't say that to protect him. I only said what I felt based on what I'd seen when I snuck into the headmaster's room. Then what did you see in there? So... The room had been ransacked, the shelves were a mess, the desk drawers dumped on the floor. The only conclusion is that someone who didn't know where anything was had been in there. <laughs> Wait, are you referring to flashback to masked person with knife? <gasps> you mean the mastermind, right? It's true. That was my assumption, yes, and to confirm my suspicion, I decided to investigate the second floor of the dorms using the key I'd found. So that's not Oh wait, no. That's Monokuma's special tool, isn't it? But why there? Because I also found this in the headmaster's room. Ooh, a map of the school. Indeed. Ooh. Along with Mukuro's profile and that key. The map showed that the second floor was home to a number of rooms meant for faculty use. Some of the staff must have had to stay overnight from time to time. And I figured the headmaster would have had some kind of private room there. I assumed if that were true, that room would likely hold more clues. Oh my god, wait, hold on. I just thought of something fucking hilarious. Hold on. I need to write this down so I don't forget. Oh, you guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna debut this in my next Dog and Rampa stream. I'll have it done before then. You are gonna fucking cry when I do what I'm gonna do. I assume that if that were true, the room would likely hold more clues, so I went to check. Correct. And that's when I finally remembered. I remembered that my purpose was to find the owner of that room. So you went there to see if the headmaster really did have a private room there. However... But once I got there, I noticed that the second floor of the dorms didn't have any cameras or monitors. So what was it like? That part of the school, I mean. It's hard to describe. All I can say is... I... The moment I saw it, I realized... Whatever's going on in this school is more horrific than we ever imagined. What do you mean? So... I can't explain it. You need to go for you see for yourself. And I'm sure you'll get your chance soon enough. It sounds like it must be important. And really ominous. I had no idea what was going on in the rest of the building. It has to do with Mukuro Ikusaba, doesn't it? However, Just to be perfectly clear, I didn't kill her. And I know it wasn't you either. I know you're right, but that just means... Everyone but you and me had an alibi. So then who did kill her? Anyway, What I can say for sure is that the Mastermind is directly involved. To begin with, the point of the class trial of Mukuro Ikusaba... ...was to get me killed. Get you killed? Indeed. I stole that key and disappeared, and in retaliation, they wanted to draw me out and eliminate me. Correct. That was the point of the class trial. It was? The Mastermind knew they couldn't interfere directly. You mean because of the school regulations? That's right. Exactly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. In other words... The Mastermind is adamant about following the rules, and with that rule in place, they couldn't step in. Since they couldn't kill me themselves, they tried to use the class trial to do it. The Mastermind couldn't step in because of the rules? That makes it sound like... The Mastermind themselves is somehow bound by the school regulations. Hey. There's one other thing I'd like to point out about the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. What's that? There was a point where Mukuro may not have become the victim. Oh, could it be? I could have become the victim. Indeed. You know what I'm talking about, right? Ha! Ah! Yes. <laughs> yes. During the night. Ah, oh, yes. I can hear them. You know, 
the footsteps of the god of death. What? I can hear the god of death as he moves. That ability naturally draws me into cases just like this. Anyway. Which is exactly what happened with you. I was in the dorms and I had a sudden sense of dread. I looked down the stairwell and I saw a white shadow cross the corridor. I gave chase right away and as I followed it, I saw the shadow go into your room. Again! Correct. Yes! Uh, I ran into your room and I saw what was happening. I intervened immediately, of course. However, that wasn't the end of things, of course. I stopped them, but that led to whoever the mass assailant was. They ended up dead. No, it's a different person. Correct. And their murder was disguised, and the dojo key wound up in my room. It all has to be the work of the mastermind in an attempt to use the class trial to eliminate me. So all this would mean that whoever killed Mukuro is also the mastermind, right? Indeed. I don't have conclusive evidence, but that's what I think. But that's really bad if true. It means the mastermind can kill whoever they want if they feel like it. Wait, but doesn't that create another contradiction? The mastermind wanted to use the class trial to try and kill you because they couldn't interfere, right? Correct. You're right, that is a contradiction. And it's not just Mukuro. They needed the class trial to kill me, but seemed ready to kill you in your room. Everything they did is a contradiction. <laughs> How many extra students are lying hidden somewhere in the school? I don't know, but you, you better watch out for them. Uh, what does it all mean? In other words, it means that the mastermind is the one who's been cornered. Huh? Makoto. Just a little more. A little more and I should be able to figure out the mastermind's identity. The identity of the other ultimate despair. Oh, I know who it is. Okay, listen. I don't know how this is possible. But here's what I vaguely know from what I've been spoiled by people in the comments. I'm, I'm giving you a judgy look right now. Anyone watching this VOD, anyone watching the stream, who may have spoiled something in the comments of that tier list video, this is for you. So... Junko has something to do with it. Junko is an ultimate despairer or something. I don't know how. I don't know how she... We saw her die, so I don't know how it could be her. And I know that Mukuro is somehow related to her? Maybe a sister? Or something like that? But that's all I know. That's where my knowledge stops. Beyond that, I have no idea. I don't know how it is possibly Junko. I know that it is her. I don't know how. So, we'll figure it out as we play. The other ultimate despair? There's no doubt that Mukuro was the ultimate despair and that she's dead. Everyone's saying Octagon. Wait. What? Is this a Danganronpa reference that I'm too first playthrough to understand? But I don't think the ultimate despair is just one person. It's not? Indeed. If you think about it, the ultimate despair seems to implicate whoever caused that event. You're talking about... That's right. <laughs> Junko... <laughs> Roxy. Junko's ghost. The 17th person lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate ghost. Watch out for her. Oh, that actually... That got me good. That's funny. What happened a year ago? The biggest, most awful... They're talking about something really fucking serious. And they're, they're, you guys are making me laugh. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. Who's ever, whoever's responsible for that. It's an inside joke. I'm sure I'll figure it out by the end. They're the ultimate despair? That despicable group whose only purpose and motivation comes from despair. Then they're... Make no mistake. They're the root of all the evil that has forced us to go through this. That is the ultimate despair. And that is our real enemy. Pain of a junk food junkie. What did both of those words have in common? Junk, junkie, junk, junko? Mmm. Octagon is from the sequel, what, from two? Received the Dream Island rocket present? That's wild. Achievement unlocked. Five alive. <sighs> okay. 
So we stop here. But before we finish, there's something important we need to do. Something very important. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta do some, uh, some get. We gotta get some gifts. We gotta open some loot boxes real quick. Oh, we got a worm on a string. How cute. I'm gonna go down to 150 by going one at a time. Ooh, a baseball of some sort. That's new. How exciting. No, please don't explain the significance, of course. I know you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't spoil that for me. Oh, another new item. Very cute. Can we get to 69%? Nice. Almost there. Or if I can get to use the Mana Mana Machine 100 times. Yo, we got we got a Kyoko's hat that time. Oh, very cute. Oh, one more. One more and we got it. Nope, we've had that already. Oh, no, we didn't. Nice. Jesus Christ. I'm getting a lot of new stuff despite only having like 70% repeat percent. It's only 30% chance of getting a new item. One in three chance. I am the ultimate lucky student after all. I am, after all, a brilliant strategist who is using my coins as the most effective way. The Jesus Christ. I mean, I'll take my chances. I will just do this until I get all of the gifts, one coin at a time. I think that's the most efficient way to do this. It's it's time consuming, for sure. Achievement unlocked, hey big spender. That's me, I'm the big spender. I think I get when I get down to the like the last five presents, I can dunk a bunch more coins into it. Okay, we're down to 150. All right, no new item. Cool. We did great, everyone. Thank you so much for dropping by. I forgot I can also unlock these things with coins as well. Interesting. Oh, we can get all the Monokuma theaters and watch them back, too. I wonder if there's any hints in there. Any, anything interesting for us to go through? All right. So, oh, look who decided to show up on the front of the main menu after talking about the ultimate despair. Isn't that interesting? God, I'm, I'm feeling more and more like Byaki the more I speak. Isn't that interesting, Junko? Well, I guess we know who the ultimate despair truly is. It was you all along. Okay, let's see who we're gonna raid. Okay, listen. You guys. You have to hear me out here, okay? I need to save again or I lose the items? Oh, did I lose the items? Did I fuck up? No. You were like a frog sinking- Oh wait, no, I have that screenshot. I posted it on Twitter. Let me scroll down, and I'll read it in his voice. When I look at you, it makes me think of a frog sinking into a pile of manure. Okay. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. I am my very good friend, Redbeard at Sea. A VIP in the community, a really close friend, a really genuine dude. We're going to go drop him a raid. Now, he's opening Pokemon trading cards, which is a very big shift from what we're doing right now however i want you to do me a favor i want you to hang out with him chat with him get to know him feel out his good vibes give him some support and give him a follow and we're just gonna we're just gonna vibe with him i'm gonna be in the chat as well for a bit and uh cheer him on with his pokemon cards if it's not something you're interested in he does other games as well he also he does like souls like games and like difficult kind of games like that but um he's very 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 fun 
Uh, go check if I lost them. Yeah, let me go check real quick. I think I'm fine, but let's see. Ah, oh, you're right, I did. Look at my coins, 164. Oh, well, fine. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. You'll follow oh, you haven't followed Redbeard yet? Now Redbeard's awesome. Yeah, so let's give him a raid real quick. Yeah, you guys are gonna love him. He's such a sweetheart. He's so genuine. He's so much fun. Okay, so the raid is started. Now, if you don't know what to do when the raid happens, I have posted the raid call in the chat. Scood interlude. If you're a sub, grab the one with the, the Scood love emote. If you're not, do Squid 1 and Squid 4 on either end. And, uh, yeah, let's just show up, give him a, give him a good time, have a, have a good time. Here's our schedule for the next upcoming week, if you guys don't know. Sunday, Minecraft, tomorrow, we are going to be playing Minecraft at 8pm with Glow Green. I, my new goal is to collect every single item in the game and display it. That's our goal, that's what we're going to be working towards. And I'm, I might start up doing that soon, maybe, hopefully. It's going to be a lot. We're we'll also be continuing our Dark Souls 3 playthrough on Wednesday. We are in Lothric Castle. I'm going to be doing the, what is it, the, the King's Garden or whatever, and like the, whatever. The uh, the place that I ran away from before. But yeah, we're going to be doing some fun stuff there. And uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday for some more Danganronpa. We're going to finish Danganronpa this week. It's going to be a good time. Thank you so much for showing up, everyone. You know I love you. You know you guys are beautiful. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. And join the Discord. Join the Discord. Follow on Twitter. Both of those are in the chat. Quick, quick, before the raid. Before the raid. Hurry up. Join the Discord. Before it's too late. <laughs>